And it's also easy to say that we run polls and our support is X or our support is Y. At the end of the day, the only poll that matters is the one that happens at the ballot box. So if parties want Cape independence, it's very clear what the constitution says they must do. They've got to go out there and convince people. Go to the voters in 2024, tell them you want and, and see what happens. All we have to do is we have to force the Western Cape Premier to call a referendum. Now we've done it once, we've done it once. I personally negotiated a referendum on Cape independence with John Steenhuis. Now the DA unfortunately have broken their word. We agreed that before the 2021 elections. But one thing we support them on very fully is the right to hold a referendum. Do you believe that people should have a right to referendums to make choices going forward? I want to say that when it comes to a referendum, in actual fact, there is a referendum in our province every five years and the voters decide. And I think it's a pop dream, to be honest with you. It just doesn't make sense to me. I think that many people have a romantic notion about it. The two biggest parties in South Africa, the DA and the ANC, are absolutely brilliant at one thing, and that's manipulating voters to do what they want them to do. Now we need to hit them where it hurts, and that's with votes in the election to go back and say, we want a referendum on Cape Independence. We all know that story from the Bible of Moses and the Pharaohs. You know, the Pharaohs said they were going to let the Israelites go. After the plague was finished, the Pharaohs changed their mind and Moses had to go back and bring the second plague. Well, the referendum party is the second plague. 